All right. So at this point, we've cleared out a couple of the new worlds in this new trio. We've cleared out Disney Town and Olympus Coliseum. Just one world left in this trio. We've got Deep Space Combat Level 6. And you might be wondering, what the heck kind of a world is this going to be? Well, we're about to find out. But before we do, it just occurred to me that we have a new finish command that I never actually bothered equipping. Twisted Hours. Press X at the right time to throw the Keyblade at the enemy repeatedly. Inflict Stop and Slow on some foes. Now, obviously, this needs a new name. So, without further ado, we are going to change this name from Twisted Hours to... Time. <laughs> yep, it's time to bonk people on the head. And we're going to have that equipped for a little bit. Because, <laughs> actually, while well, looking at it, this will be, equipping this will lead to this next part of the gray lineup. But I actually don't know what we need to do in order to actually grab that. So maybe we won't. Chaos Snake is now max level. So we have all of our shot locks at max level. So I'm going to keep Chaos Snake because that seems like it's the best. And I'm not... I had to win Fruit Ball in order to get that. I'm not taking that lightly. Also, our command deck, we've maxed out most everything, so this is pretty good. Uh, what do we want to start leveling up now? Uh... Well, we got Stun Edge, we got Fire Strike. A Confusion Strike, that would be good. A collision Magnet! We've gotta start leveling that up. We need a Kiraga. We need a Kiraga. That, that's, that's a gotta have. And, wow, that's a lot of Blizzaras, man. That's a lot of Blizzaras. Mmm. And we even got a stop a gut, man. We'll equip a Binding Strike, I guess. <laughs> a lot of basic attack cards. Basic boy attack cards, that's fine. Anyways, let's head off to Deep Space. Yes, this is another Disney World. In case you were wondering. All the way out here. So now we've got an interesting battle. We've got a bunch of jelly floats. Defeat the countless unversed. Bunch of jelly floats versus speeder bike Terra. We actually get to control the speeder bike that uh Lingering Will uh, controlled in Kid Mars 2. Glider battles. Take down the unversed from astride your keyblade. Attack with X and Triangle and use square to defend yourself against the unversed attacks. So basically we just want to go around and X is doing this like little spin attack. And then Triangle is doing this dash attack. You kill way more of the spin attacks. So you just basically mash the crop. Just mash the X button. And yeah, it's very, very easy. I can't remember if we need to kill all of them or just a bunch of them. But it's a very, very simple battle. Jelly Floats basically can't do anything. Yep, there we go. Easy battle. And we get more maximum HP, which I'm only down for that. Man, Terra's supposed to be the tanky one, and he still doesn't have a whole lot of HP. And we're nearing the end of Terra's run. There aren't that many worlds left. Terra's just flying into the center of the universe. Huh? What? Getting sucked up in a tractor beam. And that ship might look familiar to some of you. You really hardcore Disney fans. It's not a Star Wars world, oh no. Welcome to Deep Space. One of my favorite world intros. That little like bump, butter, bump, bump, butter, bump, that same sound effect is that's a stock sound. That's actually used in Arthur as well. Don't know which library it's a part of. It's it's a Levo and Stitch world. Is he the one? Yes, Grand Councilwoman. I've confined him until we can determine what he is. So we got pulled into their Imperial spaceship for their tractor beam. Gantu can't even see inside, but he's like, yes, it's in here. Yeah, they wanted to put a Lilo and Stitch world in the game, but they couldn't- Cover. Leave it to me to handle these fiends. Whatever you are, you're under arrest. Eventually. <laughs> they couldn't- they didn't want to put, like, Hawaii in as a world, so they just made the spaceship a world. I'll give you a fight. 
Yeah, you can't really lock Terra up. He's got a key that can unlock any lock. Even if it's a digital one. Defeat all the Unversed. Well, it would be just my player. In fact, we're gonna use the Zack D-Link to do so, because our current, uh... Our current set of commands is not very good. I'll just say that. Man, that command gauge is building slowly. Should I be using some of these? Probably. Oh yeah, look how fast that's building up now. Oh my gosh, yes. Zack's finisher is disgustingly good. Look at that, it just killed everything. <laughs> Omnislash is ridiculously good. Thank you, Zack. Man, D-Links are better later in the game than I thought. Very impressive display. Wait! You help! I have been imprisoned on ridiculous charges. Is that so? I am innocent scientist who created Galaxy's most destructive, <laughs> constructive species of all time. Terra, please don't just let this random prisoner you don't know out of prison because he says he's innocent. Especially when he slipped up like that. Why my experiments could annihilate creatures you fought so hard. He is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his rather diminutive size. And for reasons preposterous, the Federation Council fears him. I wonder him why. Away from me and throw me here in small, stuffy, rather badly lit cell. Because he's so powerful? Exactly. Everyone always gets anti infantus when somebody more powerful is in the neighborhood. You understand, perhaps? We must make to rescue him, or he'll be banished to far reaches of space. Okay, then. Take me to him. Tara, are you kidding me? Like, I can make excuses for you in a lot of the other cases. Not this one. You literally just let a prisoner out of prison for no reason. And he even slipped up and told you that he made, like, a dangerous creature. I mean, it's Jumba, so... Experiment 626. Hmm? His name I give to adorable, fluffy creature you're helping go to rescue. And I am genius scientist who created him, Dr. Jumba Jukima. I'm Terra. Pleasure is all ours. Six to six is this way. Hurry! I mean, Jumba's pretty hapless on his own, but he is very smart and did create a, uh, a monster. All right, wow, we already... <laughs> Okay, well, Deep Freeze uh, definitely worked up, so that's pretty good. Oh, uh, let's see if we can meld some commands, shall we? All right, first up, Dark Haze, Sonic Blade of a Shimmering Crystal. This will give us Chaos Blade with Fire Boost. And uh, Chaos Blade is, in some ways, just basically a better version of Sonic Blade. It's kind of similar to Dark Aura that Riku uses. It's it's pretty awesome, and we're going to be using that bad boy. Next up, we have Fyra and Zero Gravity with an, an Abounding Crystal. This gives us Mind Shield with Link Prize Plus, which is another new ability we don't have, which basically increases the sizes of the Link Prizes enemies drop. Basically, it lets us build up our D-Link gauge a little bit faster. All right, that's going to do it for melding for the time being. I guess in the meantime, we can start equipping our new stuff. Chaos Blade is going to be good. Uh, let's see... I also, there are some other stuff that I need to start leveling up. Instead of what I was focusing on. For example, I want to use a bind. I also want to use a stop. And just start leveling those up as well. There we go. Should be great. Alright, now we gotta go through this palace of doors here. Actually, yeah, okay. There are elevators in here. Gotta use these to our advantage. Do we still have Sonic Impact equipped? Yes, we do. Cool. That actually will help. It gives us a bit of a boost to our air dodge. And conveniently, there are no enemies in this room, which means... Okay! Which means we can take our time. Go for here. Oh, yes! Finally! New command, high jump. We can replace our regular jump with that. Press circle to jump higher. Well, it's about time. Well, so much for uh, high jump. 
I have to level up high jump, apparently. It doesn't let us get the highest high jump right from the get-go. No, you gotta get CP in order to upgrade it. Because, of course, we do. This palace of doors is uh, a little annoying to navigate. But there are chests in here. Pulsing crystal, yay. It's not like I didn't already have enough of those. Empty over there. There we go. Sonic Impact is our friend. Oh boy, a mega potion, yay. Brutal Blast! I've been waiting for you! I was trying to meld you, but it turned into Quake instead. Alright, I'm cool with this. Uh, let's see. Let's unequip. We don't really need a Kiraga. I'd rather upgrade Brutal Blast. Knock enemies into the air, then smack them into next year with a powerful spinning attack. I love that description. Yes, please. Gotta pick up the sticker. Terra's just opening up all the prison doors. So what do you mean there could be dangerous criminals in here? I don't think so. I mean, I got arrested and I wasn't dangerous. It's like, Terra, you are dangerous, just not to the people who arrested you. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm just your everyday average adorable looking Keyblade wielder. I don't know why people would be scared of you. Maybe it's because you keep helping out the villains in every single world that you go to. Whether you realize it or not, that is what you are doing. Oh, shucks. Oh, yay. Another world where we actually get the map at the beginning of the world. The map's always in those big old treasure chests. No, Terra, don't smash. Examine. Activate the transporter? Yeah, there are some teleporters in this world. Don't get launched down into the Earth's orbit like Sonic did in that one game. I'm surprised Jumba could fit in there with how fat he is. Alright, here we go. Chaos Blade. It's like Sonic Blade, but more powerful, and you teleport around. And it lasts longer. As you can see, it's kind of crazy. But of course, it's, atta it's an attack that is based in the darkness! I hear voices. Better not go that way, because I'm supposed to be under arrest. Any other enemies that want to face Terra? Huh? Yeah, I didn't think so. Hi, Potion. I'm surprised that there aren't, like, security cameras that are like, Hey, uh, this guy just escaped and he let Jumba out of the cell as well. He's a bad guy. Terra's got to summon his armor because we're going back into outer space through this next door. Why is our armor red? I didn't change the redness of the armor. Oh, no, it's just the lighting. Wow, we... Okay, we must be woefully overleveled. We're just killing everything in one hit. Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely overleveled. We actually don't even need to fight anything here. Okay, I, do, I don't... I don't really like the outdoor controls here. Basically, there's a teleporter we can go to. Here we go. This is where we need to go. Ah, yes, it's the anti-gravity chamber. Everybody loves the anti-gravity chamber. Boom! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Get back here. Yes, all the commands leveling up. Yes. A bounding crystal. Okay, wait, there's still an enemy in here. That's you. Boom! Brutal Blast. Hey, it can be brutal. These guns are enemies. We can also hit this switch, and it will lower the gravity in the room, allowing us to jump a lot higher and making these cubes float in the air. Okay, 
Okay, actually, no. The, the problem is if you lower the, the gravity, you can't open up the chests that are on these platforms, because they'll just float up in the air worthlessly. No, open the chest, Terra. Open the chest, Terra. Oh, it's on the other side now. Wellspring Crystal. Well, that's okay, I guess. I'd like to get up there. So to get up on the other side, we're going to need to lower gravity. And look at the... Chest on the other side. Some of the chests in this world are pretty well hidden. Oh boy, a Fundara. It's actually kind of nice. Thunder spells are quite good in this game. Alright. I'm not sure if this is the way we're supposed to be going. Because we could also go over there. You know what? No, we're going back to the ship hub. Oh yeah, Chaos Blade. Oh, I forgot how cool this is. It does take up two slots. And so for that reason, I often do prefer using Sonic Blade anyways, just because Sonic Blade, one slot recharges faster. Almost as good. And in some cases, actually is better. There are some bosses, like the end game bosses and the bonus bosses, uh, Chaos Blade doesn't really work well on. A Fleeting Crystal. I have no need for those anymore. I have gotten every single ability that I can get from the Fleeting Crystals. Oh yes, critical impact is dying. Kaboom! Yeah, Terra is way more powerful than he should be right now. All of the Mirage Arena and bonus stuff I did has just caused me to level up much, much more than I need to. And what's nice is that the enemies at this point... Oh, there we go! It's bonk time! It's funny because I bonk them with my Keyblade, and it's time because it freezes them in time space. It's also a reference to the Puppet Pals from Dexter's Laboratory. Did I level up all my commands at this point? Not Chaos Blade. There's no way Chaos Blade is high level now. There we go. That's that's what bonk time is. Okay, the short reach of the uh, Dark Gnaw Keyblade is a little annoying. Hey, it's bonk time! Okay, no, my stuff is still leveling up. Beautiful. Good job, Terra. Okay, no, a lot of my stuff is leveled up. Cool. Here we go. Fire up plus stop with a Wellspring Crystal. This will give us Mind Square, which is basically a better version of Mind Shield. Mind Shield will put basically a row of those mines in front of you. Mind Square will just surround you with the mines. It's it's a lot better. There are more mines, much more effective. It's great. Next thing I'm going to do, I don't like doing this, but I'm going to meld my Magnaga with this bind. And I'm going to attach a Shimmering Crystal to it. And we get Mini with a Thunder Boost. Now that's not Mini Mouse, it's the spell Mini. And it's going to be pretty nice. So let's start equipping stuff, shall we? So, Mini, temporarily reduce the size of enemies. You can step on them while they're shrunk to deal damage. This is actually a really good command. It's completely useless against, like, bosses. But against common enemies, it'll shrink them down, and you can basically one-hit kill them just by stepping on them. So, if you can get this command early, it's really good. And even if you can get it later on, still really good. Let's see. We also want to equip Mine Shield and Mine Square. Mine! <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. It is very beautiful. I love it. Love it so much. And yeah, we'll get Fire Strike back on. Just keep leveling that bad boy up. Set low gravity in the room because we got all the chests. 
Now that we've shown off bonk time, we're gonna go... Oh, wait, actually. Looks like... Okay, hang on. 673. Is this another one of those, like, take a bunch of steps? Is it still 673? No. Okay. So if we take a bunch of steps, we will level up to this. I'm gonna go with my pebbles, though. Barney, my pebbles! Because this goes down the chain even further. Oh yeah, I'll show off Mini. Shrinks them all down. Boom. Okay, these enemies are tough enough that it takes maybe a couple steps. But still, very, very useful. What's through this door? Oh yay, the shop. I've been waiting for you, shop. What can I buy? I could just buy Xantasugan instead of having to meld it. I think I'll do that. I don't really want to bother melding Xantasugan. Another thing that I will buy, if you have it available. Yes, I would like to buy another Brutal Blast, please. Those guys are so annoying to grab on your own. One thing you can do if you want to meld Xantasugan is you can meld a Stopaga with either Sonic Blade or Dark Haze. Alright, another thing we can do, Binding Strike plus Aroga with a Shimmering Crystal. This gives us Wind Cutter with Blizzard Boost. Now, Wind Cutter is going to be, uh... It's actually one I don't remember what it does. Uh, let's see. It's Xantasukan, assail enemies with a single blindingly fast Keyblade Strike that has a chance of destroying them on the spot. Doesn't work against bosses. Not a terribly great command. What about Wind Cutter? Create a Whirlwind with a Spin Attack and send surrounding enemies flying. That sounds fun. Let's let's try that. Let's take that out for a spin. Get it? <laughs> it's funny. funny joke. Laugh, please. Ah, yes, this hallway. This is this is a fun hallway. Let's try out some of our new moves. Oh boy, an Efer, yay. Here are the... I was wondering where the enemies were. That's like a Cyclone with our Keyblade. Nice job. Hey dude, how do you like being small? Oh yeah. Yeah, I didn't think you liked being small. Well, I guess we're going to the boss now. I wanted to explore that hallway more. Hey, Stitch. Amazing. Is it not such tremendous power in such itty bitty package? Truly, he's the one and that's the only. The mightiest creature in all of galaxy. And his only singular instinct to destroy everything he touches. See? What? You tricked me? No one's ever done that before. When did you give that back? Too late. He's already marked for destruction. No, stop! My friend gave me that! <laughs> you are still friends? Oh. Friend? Are you joking? <laughs> that concept is totally lost on 626. <laughs> He didn't break it. Thanks, Stitch. Funny. This whole time I've been telling myself I want to be stronger. More independent. But the second I let my heart do the talking, I find out how little I really know myself. And how much I miss them. That experiment of yours. You sure about him? Maybe in his heart he wants friends, just like the rest of us. Kim! Impossible, Peche. He has no actual feelings, only destructive instincts I have carefully chosen for him. Or perhaps you need another demonstration of my evil geniusness. <laughs> and this leads into a very forced boss fight, but here we go. Put a stop to experiment 221. We get to fight Sparky from Stitch the Movie slash the TV show. I don't know why Jumbo's just like, you have to fight this guy now. For some reason. Wow, look how, how little he's damage he's doing. Yeah, I'm way over level. Shawlock should do quite a bit of damage to him. Oh yeah, look how confused he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, we just shredded his HP bar like it was nothing. A 
Okay, so he's he has now possessed the guns. Now we have to take out the guns. Counter hammer. Oh, Barney, my pebbles! Mind square. Okay. Looks like Chaos Boy don't work too well against the uh, air enemies. Oh! This is a fun move. We can just avoid those little electric balls like they're nothing. Okay, there we go. And we finally learned the Thunderbolt command style. It's one of the most basic command styles, but Terra doesn't learn it till like, really close to the end of the game. I just want to point out that fight is normally kind of hard on critical mode, but we're such at a stupidly high level that we just w might wipe the floor with him. Oh, you'll be all right, little one. Huh? Let's walk you back up. Terra doesn't even react to Jumbo like trying to kill him. He's just like, oh, whatever. What is it? Why have you returned? Maybe he's wondering what a friend is. Ridiculous. My name is Terra. Terra. Yes. I can't explain friendship. When you feel it, you'll know it. It's just a feeling you know, If I have any say in matter, you are only meant to think about what it is you will destroy next. Now, I fix what is wrong with you. Wow, no! Wow, no! Riddler, Riddler! Experiment 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell bay. Security, locate the fugitives immediately. Repeat, Experiment 626 and two prisoners have escaped from the cell well, bay. Well, we can't stay here and get caught. Well, that was a short world. I mean, Burp by Sleep has short worlds, but like, wow. You can beat that world so fast if you're not trying to get treasure chests. Aqua. I'll find some way to make things right. How about you stay and help Jumbo get put back in jail and explain, like, hey, this was my bad. Forge a D-Link with Experiment 626. Oh, that's right. This is before Levo gives him the name Stitch. So and then in Birth by Sleep, he's only ever referred to as Experiment 626. But he's Stitch. And we get the Hyperdrive Keyblade. A Keyblade that with above average reach that provides a balanced boost in strength and magic. That's a pretty good one. And it looks cool. Yay! We beat Deep Space. Except we didn't get all the treasure chests or stickers in that world. And we unlock the command board for Deep Space. That's the real important part. And here we go, there's another world. It's Neverland. You, I do love me some Neverland. And this version, Birth by Sleep's version of Neverland, probably the best version of Neverland. So first off, how does this compare to Dark Gnaw? Hyperdrive, one less strength, one more magic, and extra reach. Nah, I'm gonna stick with Dark Gnaw then. Because Terra is all about that strength. Okay, let's go... I can't remember Turo Trans... I think the control room is closer to the hallway. Booyah. Yep. Yes, it is. Cool. So we're going back to the control room and going back to this uh, ship corridor here. Because we did not come close to exploring all of this. Hi, Potion. UFO sticker. Yay. I love Brutal Blast. That's a fun one. And after all, how much I like something is directly proportional to how fun it is. Warp! Oh, that's a command I've been looking for. Because I'm going to need warp in order to meld some other commands. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm in the Rock Breaker command style. I didn't even notice. That's pretty cool. Pulsing Crystal! This takes us back to the Durgon Transporter. Oh, it wouldn't let me go in this room, that room earlier. So it literally just made me take a long cut for no reason. I see how it is. So one thing about Chaos Blade. You can be damaged during it, but getting damaged doesn't interrupt the attack. Meaning that, like, if enemies attack you during it, yeah, you'll take damage, but you'll still keep doing the attack. It won't, they won't, like, interrupt it. 
which sounds great on paper, but when you're up against the late game bosses and bonus bosses who can just combo you and kill you really quickly, this means that Second Chance and Once More will not activate if you are using Chaos Blade, which means that you use Chaos Blade and then a boss just delivers an insanely powerful attack against you while you're doing it. Well, tough luck. You're, <laughs> you're just dead. Oh, yes. I forgot how good Mini is. Such a good command. Okay, n none of that's leveled up yet. How about the treasures? Did I get all the treasures here? I miss, I'm missing one at the end and one probably in that first room. Great. Okay, we got everything in Olympus Coliseum, though. Actually, we've gotten everything in all the prior worlds. That's pretty nice. Okay, so maybe there's still a treasure chest in the ship corridor. Oh, wait, no. I bet I know where... I bet you there's a treasure chest here in the containment pod that we weren't able to grab earlier because we were fighting Sparky. Possibly. Oh my god, we're level 34? I thought we were only level, like, 25. What the... The cuss? We are supposed to be, like, level 15 in this world. I, like, if that. <laughs> I didn't I didn't even think I've been level grinding that much. It's not like I've even been using, like, EXP chance. I'm literally just like, hey, this is, this is something I'm doing. Okay, are there no treasure chests in this room? Curiouser and curiouser, there is a treasure chest missing, and I gotta find it. Maybe it's in the control room? Not the control room, maybe it's in the ship hub? Anytime we go to the ship hub, we have to turn on the anti-gravity machine. Just a fact of life. Oh, that reminds me. The Experiment 626 D-Link is actually really, really useful. So at the beginning, it's basically just a bunch of thunder attacks. Oh wow. A level up for it already. This gives us attack boost. So basically while we're delinking Stitch, uh, with that, our physical attacks deal more damage. I don't know why that's the case for Stitch as opposed to someone like, say, Zack. But there you go. But it's the second one. It's the second upgrade you get from the Stitch delink that's really good. No, I don't. I want to kill somebody who will give me dealing prizes. Not you, no. So long. Everybody's just giving me money and HP. Oh, thank you. Did you drop? Yes, you drop dealing prizes for me. Cool. Yeah, so we got like Fundara, Fundaga, Thunder Surge, which is great. Yeah, trust me, when we when we upgrade the D Stitch D Link a second time, oh yeah, it's gonna be good. We're gonna be using it heavily through, uh, well, mainly off screen. It makes grinding really easy. Is that a max level Brutal Blast now? High Jump, I think, is max level now. Oh, here's the, uh, the finish command, Random Beam. We have to keep pushing buttons in the right uh, as they appear, and it will just keep shooting laser beams out. I mean, it's not great. But it's not terrible. I would like a second upgrade, please. None of the enemies here are dropping Link prizes for me. It's my D-Link gauge is running out. That guy is like the only enemy type here that will actually drop stuff for me. Okay, tear up. We gotta work on that. At least we got one Link Prize Plus. I want to keep this D-Link prolonged. 
Please give me a lucky flower up. Chaos Blade's level 4 now, that's cool. No D-Link prize for me. Is there something that I missed on the launch deck? I never did go through that. Uh, what do you call it? I never did go through this way. I'm not sure if we actually can as Terra, or if it'll be like, I can't go this way. Actually, it might be a case of I can't go this way. Nope. Okay, this is a this is a new room. Oh, this is another safe point. Mine square. Oh, I didn't even have to meld it. Okay. So technically there was nothing down this way, but uh All right, here we go. Head back in. I think the last treasure chest must be somewhere in the uh prison. Also, Deep Space it randomly has, like, very happy music playing in it, even though it, we probably shouldn't. Oh boy, we get Collision Magnet upgraded. Wonderful. Okay, Warp is a new command we got. Potentially wipe an enemy from existence. You will not receive EXP, but the enemy will still drop prizes. That's, that's not great, but we'll get it anyways. And then on top of that, we have another Brutal Blast here. Yeah, we want to start using that bad boy. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, we do. Alright, I bet you there's another treasure chest in this freaking maze of prisons. Oh hey, we got our dealing gauge back. I don't even know how. Oh yeah, drift. Thunder surge. Oh yeah. Eat it. Wow, there are a lot of enemies in this room, but I'm not complaining. Because I want to get me that Stitch D-Link level up. Once the Stitch D-Link is max level, it's amazing. Oh hey! It's the, uh, the ice cream prize, guys. Drift, everybody. Give me my ice cream prizes. Bizarro beans. I want to do the Stitch D-Link finisher. It's not very good. Okay, well, that's a lot of Bizarro beans. And Galactic Caramel. Yes, I love that. Somewhere, there's a chest that I must have missed. And it's down here. No, I'll open the chest in here. I'll open the door anyways. There it is. Mega Ether, okay. Didn't have anything really good, but wanted to grab it anyways. We got more stickers now. More balloons, yay. We get fireworks. That's a new command. Ooh, a spaceship. Put that in the sky. Fireworks are a very weird command. They're not an attack command. They're not a magic command. They're something else. Mind shield and mind square have reached their max level. That's great. Yeah, fireworks is one of these, like, special Mickey Mouse commands. Launch fireworks to celebrate. You might just be glad you did. Very vague. What fireworks basically do is that after you kill an enemy, if you use the fireworks, you'll basically gain experience equal to the amount of experience you gained from the last enemy that you defeated. It, it can be useful for level grinding, but it's not great. So, there. Let's start leveling up Xanthusukin, and what else? Keep leveling up that fire strike. Jumbo, what are you still doing here? Is your fault 626 start behaving all cute and non-destructive? Go away now before you make things even more horrible. Get back in jail. You are a wanted criminal. You like this, Jumba? Chaos Blade. So at this point, we got all the stickers, we got all the treasures. Wonderful. But of course we're not done. We got a command board to do, after all. Yay! Command board! There are actually a couple of boards, so we've got the Keyblade board, we got the Royal board, the Spaceship board is the one we just unlocked. We did the Toon board, we did the Honey Pot board. Alright, let's go to the Spaceship board, we've got 626 and Gantu as our opponents. 10,000 GSP, let's go. This board is interesting. Deep Space, shuffle the play in order, nah, I like going first. All right. 
All right, let's take a look at which uh, bonus uh, commands we got. We got Blackout. All right, not bad. Lightning Ray. Okay, that is a shot lock. And that's a shot lock we don't have. Now, you don't need to get it here on this board in order to grab it. You can meld it. But melding it is incredibly difficult. It, like, it, melding it, it basically requires you to meld two things together. And it has, like, a 5% chance or something of making lightning ray. Right? It's, it's terrible. So if you can get it from here, that's good. So I definitely want to try getting that. Fandaga, that's pretty good. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. No, okay. Can we make it go faster? Oh, triangles make it go faster. Limit Storm, that's something that I'd like to get as well. Aurora, that's not great, but it's an, it exists. And Fyraga. Okay. Four. So you go up, get that. I'll go over here. Honestly, I don't care if I win this command board. I really just want to try getting Lightning Ray and Limit Storm, if at all possible. Stitch is going to put down Quick Blitz. Gantu only appeared at the beginning of the world and had no impact after that. Great. Alright, Gantu, what are you getting? He's buying Blackout. That's fine, you can have Blackout. Um, I forget, what's this other one down here? This one is Fundaga, okay. I really need to get a one. Three. Okay, well, if I'm getting a three, then I'm gonna go over here. Yes, I would love to. Uh, what do I got? Ooh. Let's, let's put a Xanthasukin right. down. The faster I can level it up, the better. I like how the command board opponents very rarely ever use their uh, decks. They basically just roll. They'll use Joker's Fortune, but that's pretty much it. Did you just say I'm fat? No! Oh, now I get the one. Now I'll put one cutter down. There we go. Might as well get that G uh, that connection bonus. No, now Gantu's in the lead. Now Gantu's really in the lead. He gets Gigawatt Jolt. I think this lets him steal GSP from people he's near. This no. game's over. Great. Fantastic. This is Fire Rod. Okay. You know what? We gotta start rolling big. Okay. That's not really big. Gotta admit. A little disappointed by that. There we go. Not only that, but the Gigawatt Jolt lasts for multiple turns. I can't remember how many spaces away you need to be in order for the Gigawatt Jolt to go off, but... You gotta be careful of it. I think the game probably is over. Oh my gosh, he was... Quite far away. Part of me wants to roll the two dice and get... Actually, no. You know what? We're rolling the two dice and getting out of here. Because, like good lord, Gantu is very, very... Wow, really? All right. We're going this way. I want that lightning ray. Oh, oh, and Stitch also gets Gigawatt Jolt. Won yet. <laughs> I'm fat. Wow, Stitch might go bankrupt. Like, Stitch actually might go bankrupt this game. 
this game's over. All right. If I could get a four, that would be amazing. So close. That's Fundaga. That's Aurora. Yeah, I'll take the 200 zap because I want to get that freaking lightning ray, man. Oh, great. Stitch is going down here to steal my GSP more. Yeah, I'm definitely not winning this one. Oh, I'm fat! Oh no, now they're both this heading over here to over. steal my G- Oh great, I better get the lightning ray this turn. Keep getting free unless I actually need it. Fine, then I'm moving up here. Do I want to put a command panel down? Yeah, might as well. All right. no. Well, actually, that was a mistake. All right, gotta sell one, eh? No one's gonna go over there. Um, Stitch, you need the blue checkpoint that's way over the- okay. I get a card. Okay, I could get Limit Storm this turn if I get a free. Okay, man, Stitch bounced back. Wow. Oh, he got Gigawatt Jolt again? Free, please. One. Fine. Captain Justice! This is something that can happen if you play uh, this game outside the Mirage Arena. We're in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Justice. Yay! So after you go to Disney Town, Captain Justice can appear on one of these squares randomly. And basically, if he appears, he'll help you out. He can give away free GP, GSP to you. Or GSP, that's Smash Bros. He can give away free GP to you. He can also uh, invest GP in some of your properties. <laughs> Basically, he's just here to help me out. It's totally random whether you get him versus the board's main uh, gimmick, but I'm glad I got him because this will help me catch up. Gantu, if you head over my direction. Good. If Gantu had headed over my direction, he would have bought Limit Storm. That would have been very bad. Two, please. Now you give me the free! Are you kidding me? Um. I still need the yellow check. Shit. Nope, I actually don't want to put the command panel down. Alright! Captain Justice is giving away free money. Also, you do want to trigger Captain Justice. Because if you do, there's a chance you can get something good at the end of the command board. I won't spoil what it is, yet. But you actually do want to trigger Captain Justice when you can. Wait, Gantu has his own limit storm. I could end up grabbing that. Okay. I don't have enough money for it, but with Captain Justice on my side. Now, one thing to know about Captain Justice, if you pass another player, Captain Justice will be passed on to them, and he'll start following them around instead. So I don't want to run into Stitch or Gantu right now, which means I'm going to actually... Actually, hmm. Do I think Gantu's going to roll big or not? 
You know, you know what? I'm heading this way. No. I'm a board winner. All right. Plus, this gives me another chance to land on Lightning Ray. Ooh, and Captain Justice lasts for quite a few turns. Ooh, I have Joker's Fortune. Yes, let's How use this. Like I can get Panel Capture, and it would be great. Nope, GP Magnet. There we go. Still really good! That just skyrocketed me into first place. Give me a free. Give me a free. So close. I don't want Captain Justice to leave me, so I'll take the long way back. Now I have Gigawatt Jolt and Captain Justice. <laughs> there we go. Just giving me free money all the time. But I haven't gotten any of the things I really want for Christmas. Wait, hey! Uh, right. Yeah, give me that stuff back. Oh no, he's gonna take Captain Justice from me, isn't he? No, he's not. He's going a different way. Intriguing. I keep getting the free no. after I need it. I've landed on... No, I don't really want to take over his stunning There we go. As you can see, Captain Justice is still here giving us free stuff. Oh, look. Every... The AI just perpetually have Gigawatt Jolt. It like never wears off. There we go. Oh no, Gantu's gonna get the pri the prize cube prizes, isn't he? No. Game's over. Fat. <laughs> All magic cards. No, don't level up your limit storm. That makes it more over. expensive for me to buy it from you. Six, eh? Yeah, I'm not going that way. All right. Yeah, take that. Take that. Give me your money. I'm a board winner. There we go. Captain Justice is still here! Does he last her like ten turns or something? What the heck? Stitch, you do realize that our gigawatt jolts cancel each other out, right? Alright! Alright! So as you can see, now Captain Justice is following Gantu around. This game's over. Won there yet. we go. <laughs> but he loses a bunch from the Gigawatt Jolts. But then Justice will give him it back, pretty much. Wonderful. Are you for real? I mean, I guess I steal his money, but then he steals no. it right back. This is ridiculous. Wait, Captain Justice didn't do anything for Stitch, even though he's following him around now. Or is he following me around again? Because Stitch landed on the same square. Oh, wait, no, I think that's it. Game's over. Pete ends up back in my hands eventually. Please let me get something good. There we go. Okay, if I go down here, we go closer here. No, I'm gonna go this way. I freaking want that lightning ray, man. Actually, no. Uh, invest a bunch of my arrow because Gantu's heading go. that way. No. Sweet Stitch. I'm a board winner. All right. Ooh, 
Why is Gigawatt Jolt still not worn off yet? You gotta be kidding me. The AI just keep getting their freaking Gigawatt Jolt replenished. This game's over. Super annoying. Give me a one, please. That's not a one. Part of me wants to go and get the blue. No, it's not worth it. I'll take over the Fundaga panel. Take what I can get. There we go! Captain Justice finally vanished. After like 20 turns. Finally, stitches. The problem is, as soon as their Gigawatt Jolt wears off, they just get another one. You are a butt moving over here. This game's over. No. Can I get a four? It's not a four. This game's over. Nobody has gone to the Laurel inside yet. <laughs> this is like the polar opposite of the game we had against Cinderella, where we landed on like all the right command uh, panels without really trying, and now here we're really, really struggling to land on even a single one that we want. Have fun with this. Let me do this GP magnet. Oh no, stun. On both of us, or on a person of your choice? Wow! What a butt! I mean... Wow, and he's even moving over here just to steal more of our G... Wow! He is the worst! And we lose more from him just... We were stunned. Come on! This is ridiculous. Stitch is literally going out of his way to hand Gantu the victory. I was like, so help me if he gets another gigawatt jolt. I'm gonna use Navigator. Let's use, use up our Quick Blitz and our Chaos Blade. If we get a really, really good roll, then I'm going back for one, two... If we get a six, I can get Lightning Ray. You know what? I'm just gonna stay in this circle until I get me a lightning ray. That's what I'm doing. Can't stop me. All right. Ah! The game keeps giving me the just the wrong roll. Oh, we get Captain Justice again, though. Cool. Captain Justice is on the <laughs> Now, I can't remember if it's, like, randomly if you get Captain Justice, you can get the faint at the end, or if you have to finish the match with Captain Justice on your tail. But, regardless, because Captain Justice lasts for 20 turns and Gantu is about to win, I think we're probably going to get it. If it's the second one. Stitch owns by far the most of the board, and yet he's in dead last. You've got to be kidding me. Gandu didn't even bother with it. That's fine. We are getting out of Gantu's way. 
Do I want to take over Fyraga? Uh, no. I'm a board winner. There we go. I'm just trying to keep out of the CPU's way, so that way the match can end, and I can have Captain Justice. At least maybe I'll get the special Pete-related prize. Let's try two dice. Okay. If I get an eight, I can get Lightning Ray. I'll lose some GS. I'll lose some GP. There we go. I mean, there's a good chance I won't even get another turn unless Gantu gets another really low roll. Stitch, don't you dare take Captain Justice. Good. Oh, he's trying to. He's really trying to take Captain Justice from me. Stitch, so help me if you snipe Captain Justice for me. At the yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. We at least got Lightning Ray. That, that's the main prize. There we go. I hope Stitch doesn't take Captain Justice Ray. No, he doesn't! Oh, he wasn't even heading that way anyways. Alright, Gantu, finish the game. I don't care if Gantu wins. I get a moral victory. Oh, I'm fat! This game's over. Well, we get Fandaga and Lightning Ray. Yay. Moon Cutter's max level. And yes, okay, there we go. So when you play Command Board, I don't think it works if you play it in the Mirage Arena. If you're in the Mirage Arena, I don't think Pete can appear, or I don't think you can get this, but I think if you finish the round with Pete, like behind you, you will forge a D-Link with Pete. It's a completely optional D-Link you can get, but we grabbed it. Nice. And with that said, Let's go try leveling up our D-Links here in Olympus. Do, 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 do. So now we, we still have to finish leveling up Experiment 626, and now we also have the Pete D-Link we can level up. Oh, I forgot. Oh, here we go. Finally. Doing this gives us double CP, which means that our commands level up twice as fast when we're D-Linking Stitch. Yes, that is really good. We also get a new finisher, which is very interesting for the Stitch D-Link. It's Ohana Beat. Right. We, we use our Keyblade as a ukulele. Press the buttons as they appear, as they go over the, uh, the, the fret. It is an incredibly long finisher. But we are completely invincible during it, which is crazy. Oh no, we messed up. Because those buttons are really hard to push at the same time. We can't move during this at all, though, and we can't end it early. There we go. Warp just got rid of a bunch of them. Oh, I didn't show off his Antitsuka Niver. Gotcha. Has super long wind up. It's very cinematic. Like I said, it's not viable against bosses at all. It's not even that good against common enemies, Niver. Mini reached its max level, so did Wind Cutter. Lovely. I also want to equip Lightning Ray. Rush targets repeatedly with lightning speed. It's another Thunder-based shot lock. Okay, we got Mini to a high level. That's fantastic. It's Brutal Blast. We're still leveling up, though. Of course we are. Wait, we aren't even... This Bazaar has had Lucky Strike on us for how long and we haven't been using it? Wow. Also got to level up these Fandaga. Got a mind shield for free. Oh, we've got a bunch of mind squares. No, forget it. We're leveling a mind square instead. And now we can start leveling up the Pete D Link. And the Pete D Link is interesting. So right at the beginning, Victory Pose. It's similar to Fireworks. We get EXP for using it after we defeat enemies. Here we go, we get our first level up, and we get Fruit Shot. It's a Fruit Ball-based 
finish command. And while I absolutely hate that, I also absolutely love that, because you get to weaponize the pain that you've suffered through and make the enemies feel it as well. And are there any other enemies here? Oh. And leveling up Pete for once, we get money plus. Basically, uh, enemies drop more money. So the Pete dealing with it, uh, we can get more money. So if you really want a money grind, that's how you do it. Oof. Eat my fruit ball! <laughs> oh boy, and here's the second one. And now, we get Steel, and now he turns to Captain Dark. So Steel basically will give us money as we damage enemies. And, yeah, they just drop a huge amount of money. It's great. And, new finisher, Rumble Rave. Where instead, we go into the Rumble Racing Car and just careen around everywhere. We get to weaponize the annoying car Heartless from Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I think at this point... No, we're, we're missing one more dealing. My bad. Well, it would behoove me if we didn't finish the episode by going and doing a little bit of the Mirage Arena. So, what do we have? Day of Reckoning. Risky Riches. This is a new one. Okay. Level 1. Rounds free. Rags to Riches. Collect at least 1,400 money. Let's try it out. Should be an easy one. Ooh, we're in a cave now. This is interesting. Well, I think Chaos Blade is certainly going to help out. These enemies ha are fairly tough, though. I said somewhat facetiously. Critical Impact! Round two. Oh yeah, let's see the new shot lock. So it's like a lightning-based Sonic Shadow, which is kind of cool. I'm not doing a great job of locking onto the stuff, though. It does look really cool. Okay, warped didn't do anything that time. That's okay. Barney, my pebbles! Ooh. Don't mess with our Cocoa Pebbles. Do you think you can bury in the ground? Don't you know my name is literally Ground? Mind Square is right up there with one of the best commands in the game. It just dishes out so much damage. Look at that. It's crazy. It's really good. And the best part is, it's quick, <laughs> and you can leave traps behind, and enemies will just run headlong into them. They're not smart enough to be able to avoid the traps. Rock Breaker! Miracle Taker! Did I mention that we're uh, way too strong right now? Ooh! Ice cream, guys! Dancing lemon. Fundaga is very effective against these guys. The best way of getting the ice cream ingredients from these guys, Magna Guz plus Fundagas. It dishes up. You get so many ingredients from those, and I will be showing that off later on. Rockbreaker! Oh wow, that's the end of it. Okay. Risky riches? That was so easy. <laughs> you. Oh, we didn't collect enough money.
Darn it. But we fought our way through it for the first time, so that's pretty cool. Oh, Chaos Blade reached its maximum level. Cool. Well, gee, if we're going for the arena again, I'm going to equip that Mega Flare. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on, no. Our Brutal Blasts are both max level, so here's what we're, we're going to meld a Brutal Blast with another Brutal Blast. And we're going to equip a Wellspring Crystal. This will give us Geo Impact with Combo Plus. At this point, we should have the highest amount of combos. And since that takes up two... We're gonna equip that bad boy right there. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh yeah, we should probably have a cure equipped if we're if we're going into a uh, if we're going into arena. What else can we do here? Dead Rainer, combined fret. Oh, this is one of the bonus bosses, so maybe we don't do that. Okay. Um. Shoot. Well, then in that case. We aren't doing anything. We could do rumble racing, but I feel like that's better to just do off camera. I don't think there's a whole lot of benefit of just watching you guys watching me do the exact same thing that I did in Disney Town earlier. I guess we could stop at Disney Town and drop off our ice cream ingredients. See if we can make another ice cream flavor. Or a ice cream flavor. Thanks for the ingredients! Nope! Still nothing! We've given over a bunch of ingredients, but nothing. Great. Well, wanna play ice cream beat? Well, fine, whatever. Uh, what do you wanna try? We did Desert Paradise. Uh, let's do Blast Away Master. 